911, what's your emergency? 911. Oh, okay, ma'am. When did you last see your friend? When did you last see your friend? Okay, okay, ma'am, I need you to calm down. We have someone on the way. I need you to calm down. Stay put, stay where you're at. soul may grow for eternity. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God and the dead of Christ to rise first. Then which we are alive and shall remain the same, be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we shall be ever with the Lord. James has moved on in spirit, but shall be glad you can make it. Here on earth. And I was just with him last week. And we too <laughs> await our call to the Holy Land. Amen. Warned you, dude. Filipino pussy. She wasn't Filipino, man. Filipino, Malaysian, whatever. The point is, you got to double up in the raincoats, bro. Yeah? Yeah. I, hey, listen, there aren't some nasty organisms out there, all right? E. coli, swine flu. I hooked up with a Thai chick from Highland oh, Park. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How old was she again? Twelve? She looked it. After she shaved. <laughs> That's cute, man. That's real cute. I know. You, my friend, are a sick fucking asshole. <laughs> you think? Mm-hmm. Uh so hard out there you have no idea guys will post their pictures online and you're like oh hey he's cute maybe i'll get past that let's grab him a stage yeah right he meets a guy and he's a freaking caveman i don't know what happened i used to be so fuckable in high school uh, jesse really just have this sex be when something awful is gonna happen Come here, don't say that. It's gonna be okay. Shut up. Where's my fiance? She's coming. I have to call my wedding. 
I know, Jimmy. I know. I know. Come on. So how's your love life, Courtney? Fantastic, Ryan. How's yours? No complaints here. I'm surprised your dick hasn't fallen off by now. Um, it's great to see everybody again. I just wish the situation was a little different. Well, I think it's important that, that we remember Jimmy and the good times that we had. So with that, uh, I would like to propose a toast. So what the fuck is a toast going to do? Bring him back? You know what? Shut the fuck up, Nathan. Why do you have to be so depressing all the time? Don't you think it's depressing romanticizing a guy that was stupid enough to get himself killed because he was in deep with some drug dealers? Whatever happened to him? Did you have any fucking feelings, Nathan? Such an asshole. Like I was about to say to Jimmy, who's a great friend and the funniest guy I've ever met. No matter how down you were or no matter how down he was, he was always good for a laugh. Yeah. Cheers. You guys remember when he rearranged the reindeer on Mrs. Heller's lawn? So on Christmas Day, they were all humping each other. No, it was Christmas classic. morning, right? Classic, man. Oh, or the time that he jelloed the pool. Oh, God, or the time that he faked putting pot in all the cafeteria cupcakes and the entire school was dismissed because everyone thought they were high. Oh, my God. Remember Donald Buckley? Oh, my God. It's on. Go. Hi, Donald. Congratulations on being valedictorian. Hello, any football players this weekend? <laughs> Just funny, Donald. Actually, I am doing an interview for the school paper, and I was wondering if you wanted to answer a couple questions no. for it. Hey, it's on. It's on. One shot, dude. One shot, right here. There he is. There he is. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> Fuck you, Barclay! Here goes your scholarship, buddy! So what did Jimmy have against Donald Buckley? Hmm. Yes, that's out on a date. Buckley? Oh, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand. Why did everyone want to ask out Beth in high school? She's cute. Okay. She was more than cute. <laughs> She had that, uh, the velvet tongue. Oh. Oh. I'm getting tight in the pants just thinking about it. Beth was always there for you. You doing anything? You had a thing for Beth, huh, Nathan? Oh, you're blushing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Beth was Jimmy's girlfriend. Who's the asshole, huh? What? No. Not me. Seriously, guys, come on. Pizza? I mean, that's really fucking high school. Maybe a little bit of imagination next time. There's five boxes, right? One for each of us. Yo, Pedro, where... Where'd the pizzas come from? No? You don't speak English? No fucking thing? Huh? Fuck me, man.
but I, I have some bad news about Jimmy. I'm sorry, okay? I didn't want to scare the girls. Bullshit, you didn't want to scare the girls. Why didn't you tell me? It's confidential, Ryan, okay? I mean, if word got out that Jimmy was barbecued like a brisket, the whole town would go crazy. I mean, there is a sick fuck out there, dude. Somebody stole my phone. What? Look, I'm not sure what happened, all right? Maybe you misplaced it. You checked your car no, or something? that fucking thing is tethered to me, man. I called the pizza parlor. Somebody called in those pizzas under my name using my phone. You gotta start telling me everything. Okay, Blake? Okay. I mean it. All right. No more of this police bullshit. Hey, Blake. Somebody's fucking with our heads, man. Talk to Nathan? Oh, fuck Nathan. Fucking faggot.
moving my car to another parking spot. Someone ordered a guy prostitute to my house. I got this in the mail today. Damn shit, why didn't you tell me you had my phone? I huh? had to see if we were involved, man. We're being targeted, Ryan. Do you know what's happening right now? What do you mean we're being targeted? Jimmy wasn't killed because of a bad gambling debt, and Blake knows it. Jimmy was killed on the same day as Brandon Booth. You guys remember him? Three years to the exact same day, June 5th. Someone knows what happened at Sandy Beach. Someone knows we were involved. No, no, that's impossible. Nobody else was there. It's Beth. It wasn't Beth. It's Beth. She was there. Uh, Beth is out of town. She would have had to have done everything herself. Okay, maybe she had someone. Beth maybe. hated pranks. It wasn't her. Guys! Blake, what's going on? The police think that it was somebody from high school who killed Jimmy. Who? Why? I don't know. Jimmy did a lot of messed up things to a lot of people. So the police don't know about Sandy Beach then, do they? Hmm? No. Lucky for us, America's finest can't put two and two together. Nice. We didn't do anything. Sandy Beach was Jimmy's fault. No, we obstructed an investigation, Courtney. Do you remember that? We lied. That makes us all accomplices to murder here. Manslaughter. Whoa, you guys, I think we're jumping the gun here, okay? Listen, there's nothing that links Jimmy to Brandon at all. Of course they were related, dumb fuck. They were killed on the same day. Guys, guys, what if he's watching us? What if this person is watching us? I can't handle this. What if whoever killed Jimmy is going to try and kill us, too? Stop it. I'm going to be sick. Just stop. <laughs> <laughs> so what about you, Blake? Big shot sheriff? Who ordered the fucking pizzas? Fuck off. No, who ordered the pizzas? Say, fuck off, get out you of my face. answer my question. I'm not going to answer your question. Who ordered the fucking pizzas? Don't need to chill out. Oh, fuck you. Nathan, get out of my way. Guys, you know what I you're don't need to help anything right now. Fuck you. Stop. You have no idea who you're talking about, okay? I'm just completely messing up. Everything. I don't mess shit up. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how. Who ordered the fucking pizzas? I don't know who ordered the fucking pizzas. I don't know who ordered the fucking pizzas. for the uh, high school yearbooks. Uh, they're in the reference section, back aisle against the wall. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Find them? Um, 2010. It's not here. Oh, uh, let me check the front. William Rivers? Yeah. Sorry about the mess. Uh, we go to print in a couple hours. You wrote an article about my brother. He died three years ago on Sandy Beach. Brandon Booth. Brandon Booth. I remember. Drowning accident. What do you want to know? What can you tell me about it? Just that the town was pretty shaken up. Did you say you were his brother? Now, what, what, what's your emergency? Nine one one. I think that my friend went to me to Sandy Beach. Please take me. He's gone. I can't find him. I don't. I don't know what half hour. His name is Brandon Booth. Brandon Booth. Yes, hurry, please. That was great, but no one's ever gonna know. But there's nothing we can do about it, okay? It was an accident. Brother goes searching for his brother after they were separated in a foster home as kids, only to find that he's dead when he comes looking for him. That, that is a hell of a story. You want to do a feature, kid? Brandon was with someone the night he died. Is that right? 
Let me see. It was a long time ago. Um, yes, he was with a girl. Good kid. Well, she seemed pretty broken up by the whole thing. Uh, what was her name? Re Rebecca. Becky. It was Beth. Beth, right? I saw your picture in the yearbook. Um, this is a really bad time. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Of course. Um, well, I'll be in town for a few days. Here, let me... Here's my number. I'd love to ask you a few questions about Brandon, about what he was like, things he liked to do. I really have to go. I didn't mean to scare you. I don't want anything. I just wanted to tell you that I'm sorry. Helen, I'm apologizing to you, okay? I'm sorry. My mother had to read the letter you forged from the doctors. <laughs> Do you know what it's like for your mother to think you're HIV positive? Oh, my God, the drama, Helen. It was all in good fun. Are you fucking kidding me? Telling everyone I had a tainted blood transfusion when I was really sick? It's fun? It was high school, Helen. I found a stupid thing. I apologize. Really. Do you die? I hope something really horrible happens to you. You're cruel and pathetic. You don't even deserve to say you're sorry.
Jesse, it's Blake. I got your text. I'm on my way. This is Lincoln 1 Mary. I'm 10 7 out of service. Repeat. 10 7 out of service. Copy, Lincoln 2 1 Mary.
give him anyway. A uh, couple rupees. He's fine. This is mean, Jimmy. It's cruel. He never did anything to you. Oh, no? He only follows you all around on campus. Oh, come on. Your fairy little lap dog. Yeah, wait till he sees himself online in the morning. Start digging. Come on, Beth. This is my last prank, I swear. Please. That a girl. All right. So I think we should put the hole here. I'll throw him in. So, Jessie never even talked to you this evening, then? No. She just left you her keys where she works? That's right. She never told you where she was going, what she was doing? No. Did she ever talk about going to see an old classmate, someone she might have pulled a prank on? What do you mean, prank? Do you think this has something to do with high school? Did Blake ever do anything back in high school that would make someone want to hurt him? safe anywhere in Grace Arbor, Beth. Did you ever do anything to anybody in high school? No. Good. You might want to lock your door. Sheriff, can you tell us anything? Are the victims from Grace Arbor High School? Well, we're still identifying the bodies. I have no new information for you. We need to notify the families. That's all I have for you now. Thank you. Can you tell us what year they graduated? No, Jack, I can't. Well, does this have anything to do with Edward's case? Don't push it, Jack. Asshole. And there you have it. No word yet of the two victims are from Grace Arbor High School. This is Mara Simone, outside the crime scene for Action News. All right, so who do we have? Uh, Ronald Wallace... A pecker boy from the bathroom? Okay, great. What about uh, Helen Gamond? Uh, she was working. Nobody knows what time she got off. Put her on the list. Okay, so who do we have? Come on. Um, 
Uh, Debbie Simmons, Rita Snavely. I mean, guys, guys. Uh, 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 Timothy Thaler, Bruce Butler, Donald Buckley. Jesus Christ! Jesse and Blake were murdered! What the fuck is wrong with you two? Courtney, we can't go to the cops, okay? And we can't tell them what happened to Brandon. The only way we get out of this is if we find out who's doing the killing. She's my best friend. How are you, Beth? Don't ask. So what's going on? The sheriff came by Jesse's house last night. Sheriff Morello. He thinks someone in Grace Arbor is getting revenge. So he was here yesterday looking for the 2010 yearbook. That's right. And you say it wasn't here then? No, it wasn't. Reference books aren't supposed to be checked out. Did he ask about Brandon? No. You didn't say anything about him? No. Just told him about Ronald Wallace getting firecrackered. We made a list. Yeah, only half the friggin' school. What about that teacher, the one you put the gay porn in his slide projector? Richards? Gay people aren't serial killers. Ah, oh, man, what about Dahmer? Remember him? All right, put him on the list. Can you think of anyone, Ryan? Something you might have done? What about Coach Novotka? What did you do? He blackmailed him into signing off on his football scholarship. What? You know, I don't think this is really the time. Hell yeah, this is the time. How do you know he didn't do it? Because I just know. Ryan, what did you do? Ah, oh, fuck, man. Look, I had Courtney take a couple pictures with Coach Novotka. Put a camera in her car while she was with him and she took her top off. I wish that was all I did. I wonder I'm so fucked up. You know, you didn't have to do it for me. Jesus, Ryan, you were my boyfriend, okay? I wanted you to go to college. What about you? Please, she doesn't have anything to worry about. Brandon's dead. Not exactly. Brandon has a twin brother. He's in Grace Harbor and he wants to know all about him. Hey, Bobo, I need an age on Blue Boy. Jimmy Upwards. Chris 22. In what year is his graduating class? 2010. Hey, what about that kid that drowned over at Sandy Beach? Got a graduating year on him? That's sick, man. So what do you suggest we do, Nathan? You want to call the police? Room 122? Great. Be there in five minutes. You don't have to do this, but... I'm fine, okay? I'm fine. You see that? She's fine. Yeah, well, you're not the one going in. What Nathan, guy... I'm fine. I can handle it. How'd he sound? I mean, he doesn't expect anything. He just wants to talk about Brandon. Okay. What if I find something? Like a murder weapon? What do you think she should do? <laughs> That's great. Send her into the motel room with a fucking serial killer and you don't know what she should do? Hey, wait, wait, wait. All right, maybe Nathan's right. Maybe you don't have to go in. No, I have to. Oh, I want to. What if he's the killer? Yeah, well, then we'll find out at Tim when she shows up dead.
relax, Nathan. The dude isn't going to take her out in broad daylight in his own hotel room. I didn't think you were going to come. Why do you say that? Strange motel, strange person. So, what do you want to know about Brandon? Well, what was he like? He was very generous, kind, smart, really smart. He liked to read. I always thought he was going to be a writer one day. Really? Brandon had a way of seeing things. He liked to laugh. He had a sense of humor, too. Dark, but... He was very hopeful. I think that's why I liked being around him. He always felt hopeful when you were around him. Were you his girlfriend? Um, I was seeing someone at the time. I hope you don't mind me asking. What happened the night he went swimming? The night he went swimming? Oh, God. Uh, I uh, told him not to go. The undertow was really strong. He wanted to anyway. <laughs> it was night. <sighs> it was so horrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just really jumpy lately. I don't want you. Forever. I'm going in. Nathan, just wait. Hey. Hey, hey. Beth, you okay? Brian, I'm leaving town for a couple days. I'm sorry. You're what? Look, I have some business I have to take care of, all right? I gotta get out. You don't have any fucking business somewhere else, okay? We're supposed to stick to the plan. We're gonna stick together, all right? If you don't do that, this all goes to shit and we die. Okay. Brian, I am really freaked out about everything that's happening, okay? You have my number. people were killed last night. Did you know them? I think I should go. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? Hey. You forgot your cell phone. I know this isn't easy. But I feel like I know Brandon a little better now. He must have been a really special person to have you as a friend. Thank you. So, what do you do to keep yourself occupied around here? Oh, gosh. I don't know anymore. It's been such a long time. Well, do you want to grab dinner? Um... On me. There's a place called Moore's Pub. It's on Main. Eight o'clock? Eight o'clock is great. Cool. All right. Okay. Uh, take care. I will. Yeah, it's...
so? It's not him. He's not a murderer. No, no, no. How do you know? Because he's just like Brandon. Jack Meyer from the Grace Arbor Gazette. I have some information about your brother that you may find very interesting. Give me a call. Got him. Nothing gets by you, Jack. <laughs> to apologize for putting that porn in your slide projector. Uh, it, it's been really bothering me lately. Ronald. You got a sec?
she is practically just wrapped. Oh, man, just the way I like them. Ooh. Eh? Hi. You live here? What are you doing? Oh, just striking up a conversation with a hot chick. <laughs> really? A hot chick? Yeah. That's sweet. Look at me. Oh, I'm looking at you. No, I want you to look at me. What? See you for who you are? Something like that. Are you looking? I'm peering into your soul. Good. Now start the conversation from the top. Ooh, I like this. A little role playing. Go. All right. Two strangers in a bar from the top. All right, here we go. Hi. You live here? Fantastic. You're really looking at me now, aren't you? Oh, I'm virtually undressing you as we speak. Great. Yeah. Because I wouldn't fuck you if you were the last living thing on Earth. Don't take it so hard. I'm lousy in bed. See a therapist twice a week. My medication. I wouldn't fuck me either. Thanks for the warning. Fucking bitch. What was that? What, man? Is there a problem? No problem at all. She's all yours. Get the fuck out of here. Prince Charming to the rescue after four hours. I'm sorry. I had some things to take care of. Must have been important. We need to talk about Brandon. I thought that's what we were here to do. Now. Jesus Christ, Sheriff. Now I've seen it all. <laughs> Not bad, huh? This is the receptionist. Holy shit. Oh, it gets better. Wait till you see what's in the lipo room. Her name's Courtney Brennan. She's from Grace Harbor. Hey, bro. Chick's bad news, man. Get in the car. Yeah, man, she's a fucking cunt. Yeah. Oh. Hey, get in the car now. And if she's a fucking cunt, what's that make you? <laughs> I'll tell you what. what. That makes him a cunt fucker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Would yeah. you just call me? Oh. Yeah, that's what I call you. Come on. Right, come on, bro. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. I'm going to fuck you up. Come on. Stop. Stop. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Give me the keys. Give me the keys. Doing. You haven't been honest with me, Beth. You ever hear of Jack Meyer? He's a reporter. 
slime, but he had some pretty interesting things to say. Why didn't you tell me Brandon was taking drugs the night he died? Dude, what do you want from me? It was three years ago. Okay, I forgot. Why did you let him go swimming? Because I didn't know he was on medication. I don't believe you. Look, I don't owe you anything. You owed him, Beth. You were his friend. Did you see this? I have a fucking drugstore in my purse. I don't tell every person I know. He never told me. I didn't know he was going to die, okay? I didn't know he was going to die. Listen, he probably woke up and left. He Fuck probably you. He probably already out. Yeah. What did you do? I don't know. We'll keep looking for him. Huh? Red, if you're out here, it's not funny. Yeah. What did you do? Are you sure it's her? Courtney said she was leaving town and someone was killed in Sterling. It's her. So where were you two tonight? Brandon's brother isn't going to bring him back, Beth. You just better not. You're a regular killing machine, aren't you, Liam? Where were you tonight? Where were you? What is it with you people in this town, huh? What'd you do for fun last night? You have to admit, you make a great suspect. What's from Brandon? You know, I never met, but we did write each other in high school. Then the letters stopped, and I never knew why. Go ahead. Read it, Beth. He talks about you a lot. You want to know why I came to Grace Arbor? 
I just wanted to know that there was some light somewhere that just maybe Brandon had a better life than I had. all so clear to me now. How do I know it's love? I think I would die for her. Liam! Liam! Dude, I've been trying to get a hold of you. Where have you been? Chill, man. I went to Sterling to talk to Coach Novotsky. Coach Novotsky? Yeah. Thought I should apologize. He said he did a lot of asshole things, too. He was cool. I saw him take her body out. Dude, it's Brandon's brother. Check this. His real name is Liam Bennett. He was molested by both his parents. They kept him in the basement for like three years. Dude took his father's shotgun, killed them both, then shot himself in the chest and lived. He, he was exonerated by the courts because he was a minor. He underwent major psychiatric counseling. There's your killer. He knows what happened to Brandon. He knows we're involved. Beth. She told him. Fucking Beth told him. Insider access and a cover story on his arrest. We got a deal? What's his name, Jack? All right, give me a second. Trust me, it's not safe. Come on. This is 8 David 4. Request the unit be sent to 713 Whitney Ave to check the welfare of Jack Meyer. I'm en route to the motel by the highway. We'll advise when I'm 9-7. Where did 
dude, 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 it's the sheriff. We're looking at the fucking sheriff. Shit. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. You go to Sterling. I went to talk to Coach Novotska, okay? You don't believe me? Call him. Fuck, man. I don't know who to believe anymore. Nathan, if I wanted you dead, you would have been first on my list. It was a game we played in therapy. Did you know that, Beth? Come on, Beth, you can do it. Pam, you know, I'm sorry for what happened to you, okay? We all have fucked up. I'm not finished, Beth. The shrinks thought it was important in my healing. It's called reassociation. You relive the moment of trauma and go back to where it all began. Can you imagine? Most kids are out playing football, going to their proms. I was having my dreams analyzed by $10 an hour therapists who fondled me in the name of mental health. Where did it happen, Beth? You know, I'm Where did it happen? Right there. about killing your parents is? Think about it, Beth. It's the guilt. 
I actually felt guilty for taking those monsters' lives. Guilt is a motherfucker, isn't it? It eats away at your aspirations, your dreams, your fucking soul. You having a hard time sleeping at night, Beth? What did you do to him? It was just supposed to be a prank. Jimmy was jealous of Brandon. He buried him in the sand after giving him some pills at a party. He was only supposed to be unconscious for an hour, but we fell asleep in the tide came in. There's only one thing left to do. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm taking you to the police. Nobody's taking anybody anywhere. Hate to inform you, buddy, but you've got a serious credibility issue. Yeah, unstable psychopath who murdered his parents seeking to cleanse his demons away by avenging his brother's death? Do you really think the cops are going to believe you? They don't have to believe me. Go believe her. I can't do it anymore. I can't keep the secret. Beth, you're being a little over-emotional, don't you think? Hmm? They're going to put us all away. But especially you, Beth. You were there. I should have told the truth from the beginning. Come on, Beth. See you later, fellas. Have a nice life, you fucking coward. You ought to think twice. Jesus Christ. What are you doing? Stay out of this, Nathan. Showing their true colors, Ryan? Shut the fuck up, asshole. Why'd you take out all your friends, Ryan? Afraid someone might crack? Afraid someone might tell the truth about Brandon? Go fuck with me, man. Jimmy was the first to crumble, wasn't he? He couldn't take the guilt over Brandon's death, so he was going to turn himself in. But you couldn't have that. No, you had to kill Jimmy. But then you had to kill Blake, Jesse, Courtney. One more word, and I swear I will fucking kill you. Did you do it, Ryan? Stay out of this, Nathan. Right? Did you do it? What do you think, bro? Huh? Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God. Oh my God. Stop it! the weapon so this is how it's done in grace harbor last time put your hands above your head and drop the weapon It wasn't him! No! 
calm down. Yes, calm down. Yes, calm down. Yes, calm down. Yes, Put the weapon down. You work here? Part time. Things have been really slow lately at the diner. Hope you feel better.
Did Blake ever do anything back in high school that would make someone want to hurt him? Can you think of anyone, Ryan? Something you might have done? What about Coach Novotska? What about that teacher? Richards? Gay people aren't serial killers. Did she ever talk about going to see an old classmate, someone she might have pulled a prank on? Thanks for the ride. I appreciate it. Yes, I want to make sure you got here safely. So what are you going to do when you get back to New York? Probably find a job. <laughs> Good luck with that. Listen, here's my card. If you ever want to talk. Told you everything I know, Sheriff. I hope so, Beth. I really hope so. You know, when I came out here, I thought I'd get away from the big city, catch up on my fishing, drive the wife wherever the hell she wants. Whoever did this, I hope they never step foot in Grace Arbor again. Good luck to you, Beth.
Thank you.